What's up, runners? Welcome to IFX Running. My name is Veronica. I'll be your coach today. And today, we're going to do an intermediate HIT workout, period. That's what I want you to think about. HIT, going fast, going hard, periods where you get some recovery, but then periods where you really go all out. It's going to be a fun one today. It's going to be quick. So let's make sure we hit every interval as hard as you possibly can. Give me 100% effort today. We're going to get started with a walk here, anywhere on that 2.5 to 4.0 speed. Here we go in three. Two, one, let's go. Excellent. If you're new to us, if you look over here on my right, you will see all the different speeds and the time of everything that we're doing in the workout. So if you missed what I say, feel free to always take a look over here on my right. If you look on my left, you'll see the progression bar so you can see how far along we are in the workout. All right, I'm really excited. I want you guys to get pumped up for this workout. When you have those bad days or those days that just bring you down, running is such a great way to just lift yourself up and give you that nice runner's high where you feel really good, you sweat it out, and then you're ready to tackle whatever you have for the rest of your day. So, like I said, this is gonna be super quick. So I just want you all in with me here. All right? Excellent. We have eight, eight intervals today. All right, with each interval, you're gonna do a run that's gonna help bring that speed up before you go into that hard run, hard sprint. All right, we're gonna get started with a little jog here, anywhere from that 4.5 to 6.5 range in three, two, one, let's go. All right, we're here for two minutes. And like I always say in the beginning of a run, I want you to settle in. I want you to find that form, whatever that running rhythm is for you. Settle into it, feel smooth, feel relaxed. This is just a warm up workouts coming and I want you to make sure that with each sprint or hard run you are all in for it all right I want you tuned in to yourself everything that's going on around you let it go right now because this time is about you right we only have a few minutes together and I want you to make every one of those count all right so with our workout like I said we're doing eight runs eight of them you're doing 30 seconds to kind of build that speed get yourself ready and then you're gonna have a 45 second sprint or hard run. And with that sprint or hard run, I want you all in. I'm always gonna give you that range. You pick where in that range is going to challenge you today. All right, depending on how you feel today, that's what I want from you. Excellent, we got one more minute here in our warm up, And then we're gonna pick that speed up just a little bit to get ready for that first sprint. Here we go. Nice deep breath in, slow exhale. Always focus on that breathing, right? Running is rhythmic. Your breathing's rhythmic. Your cadence is rhythmic. Your stride is rhythmic. Your arms are rhythmic. If you're listening to a song or you're listening to our music, hit that rhythm. It's great. So that's what I want you to do is tune into that rhythm and just go today. Excellent. We got 30 seconds before we're going into that first run that's going to lead us into that sprint. Now, all of our runs are going to be in that 5.0 the 7.0 range. Pick whatever is good for you to lead you into that sprint. Here we go. 10 seconds. Let's go, Ibex, come on. Good, you got five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Anywhere in that five to seven range, 30 seconds is gonna go quick. And then you have that 45 second sprint. That first sprint is gonna be anywhere from seven to nine. Seven to nine, you pick that speed. And remember, for that 45 seconds, I want you all in. I want you running hard, I want you breathing heavy. Hit that rhythm. Step right into it. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Bring up that speed, come on. Come on. Excellent, you're gonna notice as that treadmill picks up, you gotta push harder through the ground, right? Open up that stride. You might notice your heels lift up a little bit. That's okay. That's helping you get quicker off the ground. That's helping you cycle faster. Here we go, runners. You got it right here. Nice and smooth. Drop those shoulders. Keep that upper body relaxed. Keep that speed fast, though. Don't touch that speed yet. You got 15 more seconds. Come on. And then we're bringing it down for that recovery. You're going to walk it. All right? Or a really light jog. Here we go. 2.5 to 4.5. In five, four, three, two, one. Take it off. Excellent. This is your breather. Don't touch that railing. Excellent job. That's number one done. Number one done. Beautiful job. Same thing. 
You're gonna keep repeating that now. You got that run? Start building that speed and then I want you to sprint hard. Excellent, that run, remember. Five to seven here. Deep breaths in, come on, I'm breathing heavy too. Because we're giving ourselves 100%. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go, five to seven, come on. Five to seven. You're here for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, good. It's just helping you start to pick up that speed. There we go. Start getting into that rhythm, because you know when you hit that faster speed, you really got to open up that stride. You really got to apply pressure into the ground. Squeeze those glutes, push those hips forward. Here we go. We're bringing it up a little faster. 7.2 to 9.2. Here we go in three, two, one. Hit it, come on. Pick up that speed. Pick up that speed. Remember, in that range, you choose where you want to be. But I want you to give me 100% effort in each sprint. All right, not the whole workout, each sprint. All right, because I give you recovery time in between. You have time to breathe, catch that breath, and then hit it again. This is a hit workout. That's meant to be high intensity. That's what you're doing right now. Come on. Let's see it. 15 seconds. Let's go, runners. Yes, Ibex, you got this. You got 10 seconds, and then you're hitting that recovery walk. 2.5 to 4.5. Let's see it in four, three, two, one. Take it off. There you go. Two down. Two down. You got to admit right now, it feels good, right? If you need a sip of water, take a quick sip, but just a sip. Because you're going to get right back into that awesome job, runners. Here we go. Number three. Same thing. We're going to start with that run. Lead into that sprint. Five to seven. Let's go. In five. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Yes, you can. All right. I know right now you're like, Bronca, you said I was going to be recovered. I don't feel that recovery yet. You will. You're recovered enough for this next one. I promise. Nice deep breath in. Come on. Slow exhale. Control the breathing. Control your body movement. Get excited for each run. Get pumped up for each run. Here we go. We're bringing it up a little bit more. 7.4 to 9.4. Here we go. In three, two, one. Hit that speed. Hit that speed. Excellent. Now, if you're in that middle of the range, you might be hitting the same speed for each interval. That's fine. If you're at the lower end or the higher end, I'm pushing you to go faster and faster, right? I want to push you. So if you're in that middle range right now, hit that plus one. Come on. This is set number three. You can go a little faster. 20 seconds. Come on. Right here. Hit that plus. There you go. That's what being 100% in, that's what being all in is about. Being all in on this rep. Don't worry about how many more you have. Worry about this one. Here we go. Last five. Let's go runners. Three, two, one. Take it off. There you go, 2.5 to 4.5. Air yeah, runners, that's awesome, that's awesome. Three down, give yourself a pat on the back. Beautiful job, we're gonna get right back into it. I know, hit, it's high, high intensity. Short interval, short rest, but you go all in. You go for it, here we go. You're gonna hit that run, five to seven. Three, two, one, hit that speed button. I know you're looking at it and you're like, I don't want to hit it yet, but do it because I promise you, you are going to feel better at the end. I always tell my runners, my clients, my members, you will never regret, never regret doing a workout, but you might or probably will regret not doing it. And I don't want you to regret not going hard. So let's bring up that speed. 7.6 to 9.6. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, we're picking up that speed here. 45 seconds. That's quick, runners. Yes. 45 seconds goes so fast. So don't think about the time. Think about your rhythm. Think about your form. That's always key when we're sprinting. Hands high. Relax those shoulders. Nice cycles. Push through the ground. Kick those feet underneath you. Bring that heel underneath. Come on, runners. 20 seconds, let's go. This is go time. Yeah, buddy, let's move. All right, runners, last 10, come on. Then you know you get that recovery, so that's why I want you to go hard here. There it is, five, four, three, 
two, one, take it down 2.5 to 4.5. Guess what? You're halfway. You're halfway. And I like to always look halfway through a workout at the peak, right? So we're at that peak right now. And now you just look at that downhill slope. When you run downhill, you go faster than when you go uphill, right? That's what I want you to do here. I want you to go faster. I want you to go harder. I'm going to push you here. Let's go. Number five. We're going into that run. Three, two, one, five to seven. Come on. Come on. 30 seconds. Start building that speed. Step into that speed. Sometimes when we hear what a workout is or we're in the middle of a workout, we're like, this is impossible. I can't do this. But then when you're done, you feel so accomplished because you did do it. And then you realize that you are unstoppable. Come on. We're unstoppable today. Hit that speed, 7.8 to 9.8. Three, two, one. Let's go, runners. Let's go. Pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. I'm picking it up with you. Where are you in that range? Where are you right now? Where's your effort level? Let's go, runners. 30 seconds. Come on. Cycle. Push that foot hard into the ground. Propel your body forward. Don't let the treadmill do the work. Be active with your movements. You do the work. There we go. You got 15 seconds. Fight it with me. Come on. Yes, runners. Come on. 10. Let's go. Let's go. Swing those arms. Hold your rhythm. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Walk. Walk it out. Keep tall. Keep tall. When we start to feel that fatigue, when we start to get tired, we start to slouch over. Keep those shoulders upright. Keep that chest out nice and proud. And breathe. Come on. You're going to go into number six. Number six, runners. Intermediate hit. This is what it's about. This is what training is about. You're going to hit that run here. Three, two, one, five to seven. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. And just like this trend has been going, I want to keep pushing you each round because each round you're warming up. Each round you're getting more and more excited. So that means each round you can go harder, you can go faster. So this next one, we're bumping it up. Eight to 10 runners, eight to 10. Come on, number six, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, pick it up, pick it up, come on. I'm picking it up with you. Sprint with me. This is your hard run. This helps you so much with your training. Come on, this helps with your stamina. This helps your speed. This helps your form, strengthening those muscles to run correctly, to run more front side. Squeeze that core here. Yes, runners, you can do this. Come on. We got 15 seconds here. Finish this run with me. Intermediate hit, let's go. You are Ibex runners, come on. Right here, you got five, four, three, two, one. Take it off, two. 0.5 to 4.5, here we go. Runners, you're doing unbelievable. Unbelievable here. We got two more to go. Two more, you cool down, you're out of here. Like I said, hit workouts are so great because it's high intensity. You're going really hard, you're breathing heavy, you're sweating, but then they're over fast. So these last two, if you haven't been all in, this is your moment. Start that run in three, two, one, come on, five to seven, let's go. Use this one, still catch that breath. Cycle those legs. Five to seven should feel good right now. Five to seven feels really amazing, right? And there was that sprint. Oh, we're sticking with that trend. We're bumping you up. 8.2 to 10.2. This is your moment, runners. Let everything else go. Get out of your head and just fire through. Three, two, one, fire it, let's go. 45 seconds to move. It feels good to run hard, your body craves this. Your body wants to go fast, it was built for this. Let it do what it's been craving to do. It can handle it, I promise. Your body handles so much more than you give it credit for. It's your mind you have to convince. So get out of your head. Let's go runners, 20 seconds, come on. Yeah. 
I know, I know it's challenging, but challenges make us grow. We have 10 seconds. I'm right here with you. Let's go, runners. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it off. Take it down. Good. Here we go. You have finally made it to that final, final round. Final round, runners. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow exhale. Collect yourself. This is the golden one. All right, this is the one. You can't leave anything left. Lay it all out on your treadmill. You're going into that run. Five to seven. Last time, runners. Let's go. In three, two, one. Last one. Hit it. Five to seven. This isn't where you shy away. This is where you say to yourself, bring it on, Veronica. Bring it on, Ibex running. Last run. Intermediate hit workout, runners. Come on. Yes. Breathe. Work through it. Get ready for that last sprint. We're bumping it all the way up. 8.4 to 10.4. You are ready for this, I promise. Don't be scared of that speed. Hit it. Three, two, one. Hit it. Come on. Come on. Bring it up. Bring it up. I'm right here sprinting it out with you. We can do this together, runners. Come on. Stay strong with me. Your last one. Countdown right here. You got 30 seconds. Stay tall. Right? Lift the body up. Stay smooth. Run it. Run it hard. Hold that form. Don't let it fall apart. Rhythm. Sprint. Hit that speed. Why not? Go faster. Come on. Go faster. 15 seconds. Go faster. Come on. Yes, runners. Last 10. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Right here. We got five. You got four, three, two, one. Hit that speed down. Hit that speed down. There it is. Awesome. Awesome job. You did it. That was phenomenal. Take a deep breath in. Put your hands on your hips if you need to. Put your hands on your head if you need to. Open up that chest. Inhale, slowly. Exhale, slowly. You can do this. Catch your breath. Beautiful job, runners. In about 15 seconds, I'm going to ask you a question. But I'll give you these next few seconds to breathe. Breathe. There you go. Start bringing that heart rate down. Control that breathing. All right, here's my question for you. Did you regret doing that? And I know you're all shaking your head no. Did that feel amazing to run hard? You're all shaking your head yes. Right? That's what I want you to remember. When you have those things that pull you down, those days where you're like, I just don't feel like doing this. Remember how good you're going to feel when you just get on that treadmill and you just do it. Or you just go out for that run and you just do it. Moving your body, getting it to sweat, pushing it to a limit, challenging it. It brings in the mind and body and it's going to help you feel so good for the rest of your day. It changes everything. All right, so remember this feeling every time before you go do your workout. Here we go. We got 10 more seconds here. Keep it walking. If after this you want to keep moving, keep walking, Stretch it out afterwards. Definitely hydrate, because I know you guys sweated a lot during that one. Awesome job. Three, two, one. Take it off. Runners, super impressed. You just completed an intermediate hip workout. Crushed eight sprints. Be proud of yourself, and I'll see you next time on Ibex Running.